Hello everybody, so today we're gonna talk about Revit API and uh, bitmap to panel plugin that you that I uh, saw a post on uh, builds.blogspot.com by Zach Crown. He explained it quite a uh, he explained it pretty well and I uh, showed a few examples of, uh, of you know possible application of such an app. Uh, and what I'm attempting to do is actually uh, give you guys a video tutorial of what I was able to do with it, which is you know a simple rundown of how the panel works, how do you get the files ready, and then you can create uh, you know uh, an image like this, a smiley face for example. It's it's based off of a off of a bitmap, then then uh, controls the Revit panel, and in this particular panel, it's just uh, it's just how much it opens. Uh, the, the circle, how much it opens up, so it's basically just a rotation of that circle. So I'm going to show you how to build that panel, how to uh, set up your files, and uh, how to use that, you know, add-in for Revit called Revit API. Let's get started. And uh, first thing you have to do is actually go on uh, Zach's website. Um, it's on buildsblackspot.com again, and in the search. Uh, field type in uh, Revit API and this should pop up one of the options uh, making Revit forms from image files in nine easy steps so basically what we need is an actual app and add-in so step one you have to download it or save the, fi save the file somewhere so what I'm gonna do is uh, save it in my API experiment folder so now you want to go into that folder and uh, un unpack it over there. Uh, next thing you want to do is actually uh, set up the plugin for, so that Revit recognizes it. So the file that ends with an add-in extension, I'll just copy it over. And then depending on what operating system you're in, I'm in uh, Windows Vista. So I just have to go to C, Users, My Username. Application data, roaming, Autodesk, Revit, add-ins, 2011, and I'll paste that add-in into it. Since I had a previous one, I'll paste it in, because then later uh, you have to open it, and hopefully you can open it with a notepad or any other uh, text editor. And then this line over here, the assembly line, has to be changed to, uh, the destination folder has to be changed to whatever you have uh, extracted your files in. So in this example, I'm going to be extracting it to, uh, to my D folder. It's going to go into uh, video tutorials. Revit 2011 and then API experiment underscore one and then you leave that parameter values from image DLL file as it is all you gotta do is save it and close it now the next step is to actually uh, open up uh, Revit and you should have a new uh, tab on top that's called add-ins with an external tools and just one add-in that we just added onto it. If you had your Revit open, just make sure you close it and reopen it again. Otherwise, it won't it won't work. So what I'm gonna actually do next is uh, show you how to create that panel. So let's get started opening up uh, a new family, a pattern-based panel. What I'm doing is I'm dropping additional points on top of the existing four points. So basically for each point you have to set up uh, set the work plane which is the horizontal plane of the already existing point. So then you have four points and each one of them has a controlling parameter which is enough that tells you the distance from this point to this point. 
So what you can do is actually uh, give it a parameter. I'll give it a type parameter. And then if you select all of them, they all have the same parameter, so they all have the same level. You can drag them together. Uh, next thing you want to do is uh, to make sure that you snap to those points. Uh, so basically we're, we're building a rig for that panel. Now for these four points, they're basically hosted on this line and they have a hosted parameter, parameter which tells it the the distance on the line, it's from 0 to 1, 1 being one end, 0 being the other end of the line. Um, I want these to be exactly in the middle, so I'm going to make it a parameter, and I'm going to change it to 0.5. So now I give those four points that middle parameter and make sure that they are in the middle of that line. Now I can reuse that same parameter to make sure that I have a point hosting in the middle. I could do it differently as well. Um, This point can be hosted by uh, intersection by selecting this line, and it'll always be wherever those two lines intersect. It's just a matter of preference how you want to do those things. Um, now let's draw those four lines coming out. Put those two points on the. Um, for this one, I'll create another parameter. I'm going to call this uh, thickness. I'm going to make this, I already calculated out, but you guys can use a different thickness. I want to make sure that I have an equal thicknesses for that panel. So for this one, it's 96 0.964583. And it's the same as this one. Actually, now it's opposite. So I want to add another parameter called thickness two. Now I have this, let's just connect those with the line and drop another point there. Give it the middle parameter, it's probably the fastest way to do this. Uh, now I need two more points on this line as well as two more points on this line. Um, I'm going to attempt to create an arc there, so uh, I already calculated out as well. I'm going to call this radius 1. And I'm going to call this radius 2. give it to those two points and now I know that radius 1 is 0 0.71 and that radius 2 is 0 0.66 so here it is, here is our basic rig for the panel um, in the next part of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually build the massing for it and then set some parameters, apply it, and that should be that should be it.